Hey guys, how's it going? The Great Darkness here. Uh, welcome to BDO, and this is just a quick adventure log guide for the Book of Margahan. I'm figuring I might as well start making some of these. Um, so the first few parts aren't actually too difficult to complete. Um, so the first part is uh, once you accept this from your Black Spirit, you'll he'll send you to the Ancient Stone Chamber. Um, just down here, and then uh, the first part of it is actually right at the Altar of Agris. Uh, run up to this uh, altar right here. There should be a little blue fire on here that you interact with, and then uh, once you interact with that, you'll have to offer it a few items such as the uh, 100 plain wheat, 30 bear meat, and fruits of enchantment. Fruits of enchantment can be found through uh, just wild herb gathering randomly or that you can purchase it off the market. But since this just came out, there's probably a couple hundred thousand orders on there and I have a couple thousand that I'm not posting. <laughs> that I'll probably post later in the day. And uh, 30 bear meat, uh, pretty easy. There's some bears actually right here in the south of uh, Balanos Forest. Um, just in this area here that you can gather. Very easy, uh, fairly quickly uh, to get. There's also a couple hundred thousand orders on that as well right now. Um, so. I don't know, spend two minutes off your way there just to grab it. Uh, wheat, 100. There's some on the market. This gets circulated a lot for, or that you can get from nodes. Or you can pick it up yourself from gathering from some places, but I just bought it off the marketplace. Um, and then afterwards, you want to go to the hidden place in the coastal cave. Um, it's actually just underground. So once you finish that part offering it here, you can actually just jump off to the cliff here a little bit north to Andre and run inside the cave and there will be a little fire in there as well. It's right here in this image right here somewhere and um, just make sure you match it sort of with my mini map there. It's sort of in between the two altars here when you're underground beneath the cliffs there. So that's where it's going to be and then afterwards you want to get to um, it'll it'll tell you to go to the hidden place in Cron Castle. Now Cron Castle is somewhere up over here and uh, the place is on top of a building somewhere. Now to get in there, it's a little bit tricky. Well, maybe not too tricky if you if you can see the path, but it's in this image that I drew here for my guild, so you can actually get there quite fast. And then afterwards, um, I'm at this part now where I have to combine the stone with a Lustin, which is where I was auto-pathing in the beginning there, and uh, it's right here. So he should have an option for me to combine these tablets. Um, so I handed that over to him, and he wants me to do absolutely nothing else with it. So, what just happened there? Because I did not read. On, is it in the exchange? It is not in the exchange. So I have obtained an Agra Stone tablet. Oh, he took all the items away, so that's fine. Okay, and then now we go to. Um, And then I have to go back to Eden. So now it's back to Eden. All right, so I'll see you there in just a second. Get Eden here, hand this in. And, okay, so we're solving the mysteries of this book. Complete that. I feel Agris fever begin to warm my body. I think that's called Corona. Uh, all right, so prophecy of the past. See something cool? Original. Alright, we'll take this without liberty. Okay, we talked to you, sure. And then, uh, is that it? Oh wait, no, that's just to get the book. Alright, cool. Okay, so what is this? Offer the hearts of the abandoned people. Uh, okay, so this looks like we have to go do something with Saucens. Um, max point plus 5,000. Uh, alright. So I believe this is it's time to go nuke some assassins. Finishing up the last uh, 15 assassins here, so the um, place is starting to get aids with more people showing up. It's okay. So uh, almost there. Oh, not 15:50. God can't count anymore. So uh, assassins is the first place. Um, pretty sure this place will be packed for a little bit for the next little while once people start looking into this thing. Um, so, and then the next area is, uh, Crescens. So it's all the way out in the middle of the freaking desert. So that's where I'm gonna be heading next. And we can finish that up as well. So 2,500 Saucens for this first part. I don't know what that re reward is, it looks really interesting. It says, like, recovery points or whatever. Um, I don't exactly know how to turn on my, uh, Dark Souls campfire at the top there, but, um, this is pretty much it here. Uh, it's fever points. I think it's been already applied to the mobs that I've killed because I had 3,000 points and now it's down to 472. 
uh, but this is probably uh, it cha charges up every day or something is what it says. So that's done, um, and here we are, max point plus 5k. So that increased the cap of that by 15k, so I can charge it up for more days, that's actually quite good. Um, item drop amount plus 50%, so this looks like a trash improvement that may be permanent, or either that when this thing is on, so that's actually also very useful. Uh, so it might be instead of 100%, it'll go to 150%. So that's, that's a pretty huge boost there, and I'm going to go and do that right now. Here we are with the final 60 models. Um, just uh, finishing up the crescents here. So the boost of uh, Agra's Fever looks really useful for grinding um, across the world. I think in all aspects for increasing uh, trash junk. So you will uh, every day get about like 3,000 to 4,000 depending on what level you're uh, adventure log is complete to unlock the uh, max caps and the recovery rate of your uh, Agris Fever uh, Dark Souls Campfire buff thingy. So um, this is definitely uh, something I believe is, well actually anything in the adventure logs I always think is worth doing because they're permanent bonuses. And uh, this is like, to me I'm just like, oh god this is going to turn me into a hardcore. And uh, practically uh, this, this buff will... Uh, I don't know, this is like another energy bar is what I'm looking at it like because it just charges over every day or whatever is what it says on the time there um, on the on the icon itself um, every morning or whatever and then uh, let's see, 4,000 points and whatnot but um, this is pretty much complete uh, my cap is 15k so uh, you can recharge I think up to 4,000 points each day and it goes up to like 20k and this crescent is now done, so let's see here. So this is uh, uh, six every morning at 6 o'clock UTC, which is uh, European time essentially. And uh, what is this now? So right now I just got the item drop amount plus 50%. Holy, 50% more trash loot when this buff is on. So now this is 150% loot while this thing is on. Oh, that's so much! So you can get potentially up to 50 to 200 to 250 percent extra trash when your fever is up. Uh, so that is quite a lot of trash in certain areas. Um, so I think places per hour that you grind will be vastly different while you have an agris fever. Without the agris fever, it'd probably be a lot less, and also depending on if people actually even complete the book. But uh, I'm pretty sure most people will. And the next one is to offer the souls of the brave warriors, which is Sherikons. And afterwards, uh, then there's Manchums here. And finally, at the end of it, it is uh, Stars and Mobs. I'm pretty sure they're also 2.5k each. I don't know if there's the end of any... I don't know what's at the end of all of it. Maybe there's like a fail stack, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just boosts. But a uh, recovery point plus 500, so that would be 3.5k. This will bring the cap to uh, 20k, and then this will bring the recovery to 4k essentially at the end of it when you complete all of it. So that's that. So um, hopefully this helped you out guys, and I'll see you all next time. I don't want this video to be any longer, and I don't pre pretty much I don't need to show the other things. If there's anything extra at the end of it all, I'll just post it in the comments section below in an altogether thing and pin it uh, but if not there's nothing special then you won't see any pinned message down there other than that i'll see you guys next time peace bye